short story series, Injustice in Qidong. During the Mid-Autumn Festival in Qidong Village, Shandong Province, Wei, a widow of the Zhao family, returned to her father's home to see her family. And Wei's father also sent mooncakes to the Zhao's house to maintain the two families' relations. But in the afternoon, 13 members of the Zhao family had suddenly died under mysterious circumstances. Tan Chun was the only person who remained alive. Tan Chun decided to report to the authorities, accusing Wei and her father of poisoning the mooncakes. Gang Bi, the official in charge of the case, prided himself on his integrity and was known for his uncompromising approach to justice. First, he caught Wei and her father and then tortured them to force confession. Despite being tortured, they insisted that they had not harmed anyone. The old servants of the Wei family, unable to bear it, prepared some silver and pleaded for mercy. Gang Bi was pleased and pretended to agree, but the next day he used the money as evidence and asserted Wei and his father were guilty of the crime. He said, If you didn't do it, why did you bribe me? He tortured them even more. Seeing that her father could no longer endure, Wei tearfully confessed to the crime alone. However, Gong Bi was still not satisfied with her confession. He ordered his men to seize her and subjected her to further torture, demanding that she reveal the identity of her supposed lover. Poor Wei fainted multiple times, but still couldn't fabricate the name of a lover. The case was full of doubts, and other officials privately condemned Gong Bi as a cruel official. They reported the situation, and the government sent Gong Bi's superior to re-examine the case. The investigation revealed that there was no poison in the mooncakes, and Wei and her father's suspicions were finally cleared. It was then discovered that Gang Bi had not verified the physical evidence of other testimonies, making judgment about life and death based solely on subjective assumptions, trembling on the dignity of innocent people. As the case was fully revealed, it turned out that Tan Chun was the real culprit, and the 13 members of the Jia family had only faked their deaths. Poor Wei and her father were tortured nearly to death. But the punishment that Gang Bi received was merely a temporary halt in his promotion. Compared to the harm he caused to the people, such a punishment was nothing. As the saying goes, it is good to cultivate oneself in the public sector. Law enforcers should not arbitrarily convict people based on their subjective opinions and use cruel punishments to frame innocent people without conducting thorough investigations. Such cruel officials, who eager to make achievements and gain promotions for their own interest only, can sometimes be even more terrifying than the corrupt ones.